Hey, so I'm in uh, the latest version of ZBrush. As of right now, it's uh, 2021.64. And <clears throat> I'm making this character, and one of the things I had to do is make, uh, you know, bend the tongue, right? To create this bend. And there's probably different, many different ways of doing it, but I wanted to do a quick little uh, mini tutorial on how to bend stuff in uh, ZBrush, right? So I'm gonna actually hide the tongue that I already made and I'm just gonna pretend like I have to make a new one. So I'm gonna uh, say append, grab a sphere, I'm gonna select my sphere, turn it into Dynamesh, and next I'm going to go ahead and size it down. And I dragged these uh, from my uh, deformation uh, um, tab here so I could just, you know, the ones that I use the most, I just kind of put them down here in my interface, but they're all here. You can size them right here. And if you wanted to, you can turn on your transparency so you could see a little better as well. So now if I um, scale this down, right, I can make it more like, I'm, let's say I'm creating a tongue. So right now I'm going to just scale this this way, maybe smush it this way, and maybe move it out so I could see it a little better. But let's say uh, I'm going for something like this, right? So I'm going to turn off my transparency here. And I'm going to grab my inflate tool, which is also uh, under brushes. You can uh, find it by typing I. And I'm going to press X on my keyboard to activate my X symmetry. Uh, press S to change the size of my brush. And now I can, on both sides, kind of inflate my geometry to make it look kind of close to what a cartoon tongue would look like. So maybe something like that. I can hold on Control and drag to re -dynamesh. I can hold on Shift and smooth my shape. I can also grab my Dimian standard if I needed to and just kind of make a line down the middle. It doesn't need to be too perfect. I'm actually just making kind of a cartoon uh, character. I'm going to hold on shift, just smooth this out a little bit, just so it kind of looks like, you know, a cartoon tongue, right? Now we can grab our move tool, make the um, size really huge. And I can, of course, change the shape of this. And you could even say, well, why don't you just make it super huge and just make a bend like that? And that could kind of work, but I was just thinking, is there a better way of doing it? And so the proper way, I suppose, would be to go to, um, if you go click on any one of these tools, you have the setting thing, right? Come up. If I click on this, I have here something called bend curve. Now, if I click on bend curve, I c it, it gives me this really strange alien looking UI, right? And I never really learned how to use it, but uh, the cool thing is if you hover over these, it tells you what they are. So I'm not sure if this was the case in the past, but so this is a smoothness. You got symmetry. Um, this is the curve resolution. So this, you could see it's adding dots to my, um, you know, to my shape, to my tongue here. And let's say each dot I can drag now, right? So to make a bend, if I make, if uh, right now it's two uh, on each end. And if you don't have that, uh, one thing you could do is I think it's this guy, the blue guy, right? So if I drag them around, you can put, you can see that it's putting it on the side. Or if I keep dragging it, it's doing it on the side again. Or if I drag it up, it's putting the two dots on each end. And this is what I want because I want to bend it, you know, this way, right? Create a curve. But there's nothing in the middle for me to grab, right? So then if I go to my uh, curve resolution and drag this up, you can see it starts adding dots. And let's say I'm going to add three. Oh, let's do one at first. I'll keep it simple. Now, since I have a dot here, guess what? Now I can drag it up. And now that's creating a really cool cartoony bend. And that's what I was what, that's what I was needing. And as I'm doing it, I can even increase it and add two more points. And now I can 
create more vent here and you can see that this is pretty useful I actually never really took advantage of using these uh, I would always usually try to sculpt my bends in but this is way more uh, productive so I wanted to show you this and then once you are done and you're happy with it you just go back to your settings and you just say accept and now it kinda goes back to your normal tools right so now we can put it in we can scale it and just continue uh, continue modeling so I hope this was useful uh, it's kind of uh, really powerful and I'm definitely gonna use it uh, start using it more often myself but I uh, wanted to show you guys alright thanks for watching